I'm used to seeing that coach swap back and forth. It still must be hard, though. Well, now to the second course of our delicious meal we're serving up for you today. It's Meryl Davis and Charlie White. I think it's more of a banquet, Brenda, actually. <laughs> well, both of these teams have won both of their Grand Prix events this season. Uh, both did it by whopping margins. But Davis and White had the best marks. But now the moment of truth, as both teams will be scored by the same panel of judges. And the wonderful thing about the rivalry between these two teams it's th is that it's pushed them so far ahead of the rest of the field. It's really quite amazing. <laughs> judge on this panel Kurt, after these two performances. If there's only two ways to one of two ways to go. Your emotions or you dissect it technically. That's right. 
apples and oranges in many ways. You know, both teams so different, but so brilliant. Incredible, incredible performances from both teams. And totally different. I completely agree. I, I feel that Tessa and Scott has more of an organic feel to it, where uh, Marilyn Charlie has a flash and a flare. Pomegranates and pears. You can pick either one yeah. and not be wrong. Well, Marilyn Davis and Charlie White have not lost in the past two years. Their scores coming up after this. Well, we're back in Japan waiting for the scores for our final skaters, Meryl Davis and Charlie White, the leaders of the moment, uh, the Canadians, Tessa Virtue and Scott Moyer. I just think we're totally privileged to be able to watch two teams of the quality of these two, giving us such totally different performances, so beautifully skated. It, it, it really is absolutely incredible. The consistency of Meryl and Charlie is, is, is so amazing. One of the things I like about this program is I think it showcases Meryl in a way that I haven't really seen in the past, and it gives her a voice and a strength in the duo that I haven't seen before. But if it was just up to the Twizzles, I'm saying Scott and Tessa won the Twizzles today. I think you're right. Here they are. Step sequences, pretty much even Stevens for both teams. <laughs> This team needs a score of 112.35 to move ahead of the Canadians and into first place. Uh -huh. And they have it, oh, by about a point. So the Americans win their fifth, fifth consecutive Grand Prix final. And once again, the Canadians, Tessa Virtue and Scott Moyer, must settle for the silver medal.